All right, guys, we're back again here. Um, we're going to be installing a third function kit on this bad boy, uh, 5055. We got all our stuff here, um, hoses to run from our loader valve over to our third function valve. Basically, what we'll be doing is pulling hydraulic pressure from our loader valve and then rerouting it through that third function valve so we can control it separately and uh, work grapples and things like that off the front end. So basically, our first step is going to be getting the valve attached on here. It's going to sit right next to our uh, loader valve and our connections. Uh, and then we'll have to route hoses down, put a bulkhead down towards the uh, end of the loader arms and do our electrical wiring. So we're going to go ahead and get started on that. All right, so we got our third function valve attached. It's next here to our quick connects for our loader arm. Um, this is the biggest step here. So now we're gonna go ahead and hook to our bottom ports, our TNRP uh, for the third function valve. Hook that into the hydraulics of the tractor so that we can get hydraulic fluid running through these, um, which will then come out of these top ports and run down and actuate all of our third function attachments. We got our hoses ran um, all the way down the loader arms here, zip tied, tucked nice, ran them to the bulkhead. So now we have hydraulic flow all the way from our third function valve down here to where we'll attach our attachments. The last step is gonna be getting our actual controller for the third function attached to our loader arm handle um, and wiring that up, getting power to it so that the solenoid in the third function valve actuates properly. All right, we are done installing the third function kit. Now all we have left to do is pull this bucket off, get a grapple on the front of this, and test it out. All right, all we got left to do now is check over all of our fittings, make sure we have no hydraulic leaks, and it should be ready to go out to the customer. 